something? Hello, brother. How are you tonight? Yeah. We're here in the house of God to be blessed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory, glory. Now, what's your name? My name is Randall Leeper uh, what from proposed, Southern California. Uh, what purpose uh, did you come to play? Uh, to be a part of BAGK ordination. Uh, what do you think of a Korean church like the Oido Gospel Church? The Korean church are very, very hungry for the Lord, and that's so it, it, it shows why they have such growth and why they're doing so well. How about uh, this revival meeting? I'm having a great time. Okay, yeah. Enjoy in the presence of the Lord. Thank you. You must believe that God is going to do the miracle in your heart if you're going to receive it. You see, God's word brings that belief. We call it faith. The Bible says faith comes by hearing the word of God and believing it in your heart. You see, Romans 10.10 says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. Heart belief, not head knowledge. <laughs> you can think and hope maybe God is going to heal you. But when you have it in your heart, you know God's going to heal you. There's no physical evidence. But the Holy Spirit has spoken it to your heart and you believe it. You know it to be true. And it brings a creative miracle to you. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. In 1990, the doctor said I had 10 years to live. They said I had a heart disease. I want you to know in my head I heard that report. And then it began to form in my heart. And then for the next 10 years, I could hear the enemy saying, you don't have much time left. Your mouth speaks what your heart believes. So for the next 17 years, I listened to the report of the doctors. I had three heart attacks. I had two strokes. I had open heart surgery. I had eight angioplasties in my heart. They put five stints in my heart trying to keep me alive. In 2006, they said there's nothing more we can do for you. Go home and die. It's 2013 and I'm still alive. You see, I quit believing what the doctor said. And I believe 
what God said. 그러나 하나님이 말씀하는 걸 믿었어요. 아멘. Glory. You see, that man heard the gospel preached, and he believed what he heard. Number two, he acted on that word. Paul said, stand upright on thy feet. And the man did this. No. The Bible said he jumped to his feet. He believed that he was healed. He knew what he felt in his heart. He received a miracle. In 2007, I said it's enough. The Bible says I'm healed. The doctor said I'm not. Whose report will I believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. So I threw away all of the medications. The doctor said you can't preach vehemently. He said I can lecture, lecture quietly. I told him I'm a Pentecostal preacher. I said I'm a devil chasing, pew jumping, holy roller. He said, not anymore. And I said, watch. <laughs> so I jump. And I leap. And I chase devils. And I go on mission trips. And I preach revivals. And I praise the Lord. Glory to God. God's good. I want you to know this gentleman leaped when he was told you're healed. James 2.17 says even so faith if it hath not works is dead. James 2.22 Seest thou how faith wrought with works and by works was faith made perfect? So I just took off running. There was no evidence of my healing. But I knew in my heart I was healed. Not in my head. In my heart. If you want a miracle, it has to conceive in your heart first. Yes. That's conceiving in your spirit. When it conceives in the spirit, it will manifest in the flesh. It's not somebody laying hands on you. It's not a great faith healer. It's not a prophet. 
It's your faith in God's word. If, no, if nobody else is around, you can stand on God's word. And God will heal you. Or prosper you. Or bless you. Or move you. Hallelujah. Take time to say hallelujah to the Lord. Listen to me. Faith has no power unless it's faith in God himself. It opens the door. I see there's two parts to this story. There's Paul, who's filled with the Spirit of God. There's a crippled man who's never walked who has faith in the preached word. Paul knew when he prayed that the Holy Spirit was going to back up his prayer and the word of God. And the crippled man, by faith, believed the words that Paul said so much so that he was willing to leap by faith and receive his healing. The other night we talked about the benefits of the Holy Spirit. How the Holy Spirit empowered Paul or Peter to minister to the crippled at the gate. And tonight we're going to talk about the Apostle Paul. And the effect of the Holy Spirit on him.
And there set at a certain uh, there set a certain man at Lystria. Impotent in his feet. Being a cripple from his mother's womb, never had walked. The same heard Paul speak. Who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. 그리고 구절 보세요. 바울이 말하는 것을 듣거늘 바울이 주목하여 구원 받을 만한 믿음이 그에게 있는 것을 보고 and said with a loud voice, stand upright on thy feet. 큰 소리로 가로되 네 발로 바로 일어서라 하니 그 사람이 뛰어 걷는다. And he leaped and walked. 네, 그 사람이 뛰어 걷는다. The, the, the line that stands out to me in this particular verse is that Paul had the gift of perceiving. Now, some might think that that was just a natural thing that Paul had. He could kind of read you by looking at you. But I believe this was a discernment from the Holy Spirit. Now we talked about the other night how the Holy Spirit will empower you for service. But that's not the only thing that the Holy Spirit does. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians this 12th chapter, the 8th verse to the 11th verse, talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the manifestations of those gifts in the believer. He says, for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. And to another, the word of knowledge. By the same Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. He goes on to say, and to another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. You know, you may not be getting excited about this, but he's talking about the manifestations of the Holy Spirit in the believer. You're the believer. That makes me kind of want to move and get excited. When I think about the Holy Ghost in me, capable of manifesting all of these gifts, it, it makes me want to say glory. To another, the discerning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. 
But all these worketh that one and self same spirit. In other words, this is the manifestations of the Holy Spirit in you, the believer. Dividing to every man severally as he, the Holy Spirit, wills. How many of you have the Holy Ghost? Amen. Amen. Yes, we've been excited about that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This potential for all of these manifestations of the Holy Spirit is for each and every one of us. Amen. Not just to the preacher or the apostle or the prophet or the teacher but every believer, you and me let's look at the context of this miracle. There was a man who was crippled from birth. He never walked. He never had hope of walking. The doctors of that day couldn't do anything for him. But then there was this believer named Paul. He was filled with the Spirit of God. And then God is involved in this and he's getting ready to show his glory. The, the facts of the miracle are this. The crippled man heard Paul preach. And because of hearing Paul preach, he had faith. Imagine if you would and you have never walked one day in your entire life. Your parents had taken you to a particular place or a perfect place where you could beg for, for food and for money. In those days, beggars had to wear a particular garb. So they could be identified as a beggar, a legitimate beggar. But this day, this guy got to hear Paul preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I don't know what Paul preached. But I have an idea that Paul talked about a crucified Christ. I bet he also talked about an empty tomb. I bet he said that the miracles that Jesus did when he walked on the earth that he's still doing those miracles today through his believers. Can you imagine that man that day realizing that there was hope to walk? You see, the Bible says faith comes by hearing. Amen. And hearing by the word of God. 
So this man sitting there with crippled uh, uh, feet realized that there was hope and faith from hearing the word of God arose in his heart. I believe that faith is the sum total of what you believe to be true from the word of God. 특별히 믿음이라고 하는 것 있잖아요. 하나님 말씀을 통째로 다 믿는 것을 말하는 거예요. 아멘. It's what you have read in the book. 아, 여러분들이 저 성경을 읽고 나서 그대로 믿는 거예요. It's what you have digested into your heart. 아, 그리고 마음으로 여러분들이 말씀을 새겨 먹는 것입니다. 아멘. And you believe it to be true. 아, 그렇게 될 때에 진리를 믿게 될수 있어요. It's not head faith, but it's heart faith. 아, 여러분 머리로 믿는 게 아니라 가슴으로 믿는 것을 말하는 겁니다. We see in Mark 9.23, Jesus said, If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. And this man that day believed. Back to 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, and the 8th, the 8th verse to the 10th verse, we find some gifts or manifestations of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> there are gifts of utterance. Prophecy is one of those. God has still given us prophets. It's not a thing of the old, of the uh, or apostolic church. It's today. God gives us a heavenly language we call tongues. Sometimes those tongues are tongues of another nation so that we can minister to people of another nation. Other times those are unknown tongues, heavenly tongues that, that just edify you and speak directly to God. And those tongues are for you tonight. Praise God and interpretation of tongues. All these are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the gift of the Father. And the Father has given you that gift. So you can prophesy. So you can pray in tongues. So you can interpret for the whole church to be blessed. There's also gifts of power. Those power gifts are faith. God gave me that kind of faith when I received my healing. There was times that after I declared my healing, I'd start having chest pains like I was going to have a heart attack. Those were just the lies of the devil. As soon as I would say pain, you have no place in my body. 
God has healed me. That by the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am healed. The Bible says, if you risk resist the devil, he will flee from you. There's sometimes I had to just stand by faith. And having done all, stand. But I want you to know when the devil saw that I was stubborn in my faith, he'd give up and flee. There are workings of miracles. There are the gifts of healing. There's sometimes you fight the good fight of faith when you're praying for people. And then there's other times when that gifts of faith operate and you just know as the person is coming towards you that God is going to heal them. Some years ago when I was pastoring in Tracy, California, in our evening service we got a telephone call. It was people from Washington State whose two children was just rushed to the hospital. And the doctor said the asthma was so bad in their lungs that both of them were going to die. And would our church pray? I felt in my spirit immediately. Like Paul felt, he perceived the man's faith. I, I heard the Holy Spirit say in my spirit that they were healed. So I told them, I, I told them to call the hospital back, tell the mother and the father not to worry that they were healed in Jesus' name. The next day, the doctors were amazed because the children were both well and they sent them home. That's no work that I did. That's the work of God. That's the work of the Holy Spirit in the believer. That's the work that you don't have to be afraid to lay hands on somebody who's sick. And they shall be healed. In Kenya, Africa, we had a great crusade. Thousands of people filled a big field. We traveled a long ways to get there. Just as we got ready to go out on the field and preach, the rain began to pour down on that field. My wife is the missionary. She was the preacher that day. 
I just carried her briefcase. The rain is pouring down on top of the car. All the people had gone back into the little buildings that surrounded the field. My wife told the man who organized this crusade, I'm going to preach anyway. And he said, you can't preach in the rain. She said, I didn't come all this distance not to pray, or not to preach. She looked at him and she said, I will command the rain to stop. And his eyes got real big. And she climbed out of the car. She declared the rains to stop. And by the time she got to the platform, the rain stopped. Amen. Hallelujah. That was the power of the Holy Ghost in the believer. That's the power that you have. The working of miracles, the gifts of healing. And then there's the gifts of revelation. We have the word of wisdom. We have the word of knowledge. We have the discernment of spirits. I remember one other time at Tracy. Then my wife called a lady out of the audience. She says, you're pregnant. And the lady said, it's impossible, I can't be. And she says, you are pregnant. She said, and the lady said, I can't. It's imp I've had surgery, I can't. And my wife said, you stop lying, you're pregnant. <laughs> she says, you go to the doctor <laughs> and have it checked out. She gave us a call the next day. She's crying on the telephone. She said, I'm going to have a child. <laughs> Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Amen. God will give you these gifts. It's His plan for your life. He wants to equip you for service. I don't have the ability to answer everybody's questions. I don't uh, have answers for everything that you want to know. I can't solve all the problems. I'm just a white haired old guy. <laughs> and a little overweight. <laughs> okay, a lot of weight. <laughs> I like to eat. <laughs> but God in me can do miracles. <laughs> but God in you can do miracles. But God and you can discern evil spirits. But God and you can give you a word of wisdom. 
지혜의 은사를 주십니다. 아멘. But God and you can do healings. 그리고 여러분들이 치유의 은사를 주십니다. Work miracles. 기적을 행할 수 있게 하십니다. 아멘. Great acts of faith. 여러분들이 큰 믿음을 가지고 행하게 하십니다. 아멘. Give you new tongues. 새 방언을 주십니다. 아멘. Listen. The same crusade in Kenya, Africa. After that day, when the rain stopped, all all those people being there, the 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 peddlers that that sell goods and wares. All came out the next day. This was great opportunity. Huge crowd. Make lots of sales. Make lots of money. There was nothing we could. There was nothing we could do about it at that time. But at the end of the service. The Holy Ghost came upon my wife. She grabbed the microphone. She pointed her finger at all those merchants out there in the middle of that group of people. She said, "How dare you come into God's church?" To sell your wares. Jesus, as God stopped the rain yesterday, God will start the rain today. As soon as we finish this service, it will rain on your goods, and you will not have time to move them. They just looked up and they saw blue skies. She finished her sermon. She looked at them with the boldness of the Holy Ghost. And she said, rain come. She ran to the car because the heavens opened up with blue skies and poured rain all over that field today. They were scrambling to get their wares out of the field. Guess what happened the next day? No merchants. But a huge crowd to be ministered to. I want you to know in this story that day, Paul discerned by the Holy Spirit this man had faith to be healed. There are some times that you're going to pray for somebody and the Holy Spirit will tell you they are not going to get their healing. You can see it in them through the power of the Holy Ghost. God wants to use you, the body of Christ, In this day, and in this age, and in this city. You're going to build a new church next year. You're going to need the Holy Ghost wisdom. You're going to need the Holy Ghost discernment. And, and as God brings in those people to be saved, He's going to need Holy Ghost believers filled with that Spirit to move on these people. 
기둥으로 성령이 역사하는 것을 그래야 사람들 가운데 그 감동의 역사가 나타나는 거예요. You've got the power. 네, 여러분 성령을 성령의 능력을 받으셨습니다. 아, 네. You've got the power. 여러분 능력을 받았습니다. 아, 네. You've got the power. 능력을 받았습니다. 아, 네. You've got the power. 아, 네. You've got the gifts. 아, 네. Hallelujah. 아, 네. Thank you, Jesus. 감사합니다, 주님. The Bible says, "Ye are of God, little children." 디모데 전서 사장 사절에 보면 너희는 하나님의 자녀들이라고 말합니다. And you have overcome them. 그리고 너희들이 그 모든 것들을 이겨노라. Because greater is He that is in you than He that is in this world. You have the greater power. 너희 안에 있는 그분이 더 강하시기 때문에. You have the greater power. The devil doesn't have the greater power. You have the greater power. 마귀도 능력이지만은 성령은 더큰 능력이십니다. You've become the temple of the Holy Ghost. 성령의 전이 되었습니다. And God has given you that power to use for Him. 성령께서 능력을 여러분들에게 주었어요. 그것을 사용하시길 원합니다. Paul perceived the man had faith because he was filled with the Holy Ghost. You're going to need that kind of discernment, that kind of perception because of the works that God has called you, this church, into. 여러분, 여기 오늘 안진뱅이가 믿음으로 성령 충만한 것을 바울은 봤습니다. You have a powerful pastor. 여러분들, 성령으로 능력 있는 목사가 되니 That has a heavy anointing. 하늘로부터 기름 부음이 임해야 됩니다. That anointing is the Holy Spirit. 성령으로 기름 부음이 임해야 됩니다. And as He operates in the Spirit, 그리고 성령으로 역사가 나타나요. You perceive that moving of the Holy Ghost. 여러분들이 성령의 역사하는 것을 볼수 있어야 됩니다. And as you perceive that moving of the Holy Ghost, 여러분들 그리고 성령의 역사하는 것을 받아야 됩니다. It sets a pattern for you to emulate. 여러분들이 이러한 패턴을 배우셔야. So that you do exactly that your pastor does. 여러분 여기 목사님 하는 그대로 여러분들도 배가시켜야 됩니다. Glory to God. 하나님 앞에 영광 돌립니다. Let's stand on our feet. Come on. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Begin to pray in your heavenly language. Tell God that you love Him. I mean, get quiet. I mean, pray. 